Hello and welcome to some fresh beans. I'm Alex and this is Emma. We are digital nomads who have been traveling the world for the past seven years, but we are currently in England in Glastonbury. Today our road trip around England has led us to Glastonbury in Somerset. Glastonbury is a small town in the southwest of England which is world famous thanks to its music festival. However, one of our subscribers who lives here has told us to come and visit to see it in its own right. Glastonbury is a mecca for those with neo-pagan and new age beliefs. Glastonbury tour behind me actually has a lot of myths and legends related to it, most notably those related to the Holy Grail and King Arthur. Many people also believe this is one of the possible sites of the Holy Grail. Glastonbury tour is actually a really great place for us to start today because we get to start our day with a 360 view of all of the insanely beautiful countryside surrounding it. I have a secret for all of you beans. So I have to take regular little intervals today because in the last video you probably remember the dancing sequence. Well, it came at a cost. <laughs> I might have to admit to some of you that my footwear is not suitable for all the walking we're doing recently and definitely not for dancing. <laughs> so while filming the dancing segment, I twisted my ankle quite early on and had to walk a good three more hours with a bad twisted ankle that progressively got worse over the next few days. And while I was writhing in pain, Emma even had the audacity to carry on dancing. Mate, you told me to carry on dancing. You said it would be funny for me. <laughs> okay, rumbled. <laughs> but now I need to hop along to our next stop. Just joking, it's not that bad. <laughs> No trip to Glastonbury would be complete without a visit to the Glastonbury Abbey. These ancient ruins are located smack bang in the middle of this town. We have dragged you guys along to many old places in the last few months around England, but this one takes the biscuit. Some of these ruins are from the 7th, that's right, the 7th century. <laughs> this place is particularly interesting because apparently, there's a lot of apparently's in this episode, and apparently King Arthur and his wife were buried here. Now that isn't the only ridiculous claim <laughs> that is coming out of here. The other is that this was the longest monastery in England. This was also the first Christian monastery in England and the richest. Four monster claims for you to digest. I'm pinching salt. Nice. <laughs> Behind me we have a tree called the Glastonbury Thorn, which may not seem like anything special, but it actually has a really interesting history. Legend has it that Joseph of Arimathea came here, possibly with Jesus, as he was allegedly Jesus' uncle. When he arrived here, in this spot, off the boat, he planted his staff into the ground, and the next day it started to flower and turn into this tree. Not this specific tree, because it wouldn't have lived this long, but the same variety of tree. However, something that is definitely a fact is that every year they take the oldest child from the local school and they cut off a few branches from this tree and they send it to the queen. And the queen uses these branches on her Christmas table decorations. And this has been happening for the last 90 years. It blows my mind how massive this place is purely because of how old it is. Imagine back then, no diggers, no machines to help you. They must have been making this by hand. It is mental. Now I have heard of Glastonbury, of course, because I think almost everyone in the UK would have heard of Glastonbury Festival. However, I just thought it was a festival town. Ignorantly, I had no idea that it had so much awesome stuff here to come and see. Looking at this, can you imagine what this place looked like back in its heyday? Like, I imagine it must have been so elaborate and so... Like the Roman baths. Yeah, so wealthy. Like, I imagine gold and 
drapes and colour and stained glass and stuff. It must have been quite a sight to see. Now we've seen two of the most historical sites here in Glastonbury, it's time for us to go and check out the High Street. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so common in England to be so prim and proper and a lot of these little towns can be a bit stiff, you know? Like nobody very by to, the book. Very by the book, yeah, everything's normal, very normal. But here it's the complete opposite of normal and I love every single part of it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen so many like hippie slash new age crystals and all of these kind of funky and weird shops around as I have in Glastonbury. I am definitely a bit of a hippie at heart. Deep down, I love all of this stuff. I'm not so sure about Alex, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit wacky for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live here just for a month and just like really get involved in the community and do yoga every day and dress like a hippie and dye my hair pink. Maybe not the dyeing the hair thing, but you know. Like with all good hippie places, vegetarian and vegan food can be found everywhere in Glastonbury and I've been persuaded with a veggie sausage roll which I'm very excited about because this doesn't get to happen very often for me. Oh crap, that's so good. <laughs> that is a great veggie sausage roll. People have been recommending that I try Greg's new vegan sausage roll which I haven't got round to doing yet. But if it's anything like this one, I'm going to end up getting very addicted. Nobody cares about Emma's meatless pastries. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You're all thinking, what has Alex got himself from the bakery? Always go to the bakery. Rinse and repeat. You can't go wrong. This time today, it's the flapjack's turn. <laughs> the flapjack is a traditional English sweet treat made out of oats and syrup usually. However, I'm an all or nothing guy, aren't I? <laughs> so I've got chocolate on mine. Chocolate flapjacks are also quite common around the country, but the traditional is this way. <laughs> I'm guessing it's good by that pose. Sweet mother of Mary Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Jesus heavy today. I haven't had this since I've been back in England. What was I thinking? Actually, the buck falls on you, the English subscribers that are watching. Why are you not saying, Alex, eat a flapjack? I would have done this, but I forgot that these even existed. Mmm. This flapjack is oaty and syrupy and chocolatey. All of the E's. <laughs> did, in America, did you eat flapjacks when you were growing up? No, I didn't. I don't think they're a thing out there, but they might be. Yeah, Americans. Do you have flapjacks? The sun is now setting in Glaston Beansbury. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. You could use beans with everything! Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry you have to witness this as well as I. Glaston Beans. No, just the sun is going down and we have to go home, alright? Before we say goodbye, we want to give a big fat thank you to all of our patrons. We've had an influx of a few new patrons recently. An and influx of a few! <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much describes it perfectly. About we five. We don't have many, but the few of you we do have, we appreciate every single one of you. It does cost money for us to go out and film and make new content, so really, every penny that you guys help us with is very much appreciated. I didn't sign up for this guilt trip. You do what you want with your money. If you don't think that we're worth giving a couple of dollars to every month, then so be it. <laughs> Wait a minute, scratch that. Some of you guys are American. You have it built in your system to give tips. <laughs> Where are our British tips? If any of you would like to give us a tip, we'll leave a link to our patron in the description below. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, it's time to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave us a comment. Where is the oldest place you've ever been? <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And finally, one last thing's remaining. I won't do this in many places where JC bloody stepped. That's Jesus Christ. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Beads out!